Hi, I'm Larry Parks. Today we're going to examine some local history here in Asheville, North Carolina. Now is the CSA Confederate States of America Confederate statue that was erected in 19. Today we're going to explore the existence of Buffalo Ford, a small area close to the modern day town of Coleridge. Here to my right you see a modern day bridge. That used to be a covered bridge. And this area right here was used as a crossing point initially by the buffalo who just naturally would ramrod through this area in a shallow spot in the river so that they could cross. It was later because there was such a clearing caused by the mass of buffaloes, people used it and were drawn to this point because it was an easy access and crossing point. Now here to my right, you see a modern day bridge. This used to be a covered bridge. Now, when it got built and structured into a, a modern day bridge, I'm not really certain of. But anyway, at this point here, probably a little bit south of us, was the uh, place where uh, Austin Allred lived. He was wandering off one day, probably hiding, and he got caught by the Home Guard. Now the Home Guard of Randolph County was also locate, located in this area. And that's where they would team, would round up deserters, bring them, give them a mock trial in some cases, and then hang them or shoot them later that day. Now, young Austin Aller, at all of 20 years of age, was on his way wandering around when the home guard picked him up and then hung him somewhere in this area. So we're going to explore some of the fine points of what happened that fateful day. Hi, I'm Larry Parks. Today we're gonna to talk about Alson G. Allred, the young man who got hung for deserting the Confederate Army here in Southern Randolph County, close to the community of Coleridge. Uh, this 20 year old was out basically minding his own business, except he just did not want to fight the war. So he was what was termed at the time an outlier or draft dodger in, in more modern relevance. But uh, he was warned and uh, his girlfriend turned him in as a deserter, a guilty girlfriend whom he was supposed to have married at one point in particular. But he was uh, captured about a couple of miles north of here, close to the area called Buffalo Ford. And uh, he was summarily hung uh, several of these gravestones are me uh, family members uh, of, of the general area, his father and his brother, who was also a deserter that was hung in this area for more or less the same reason. So the uh, plight of the poor everyday guy who wanted to mind his own business was met with rather stiffly in this area especially. If you were a deserter, you were open to being hunted down, your family coerced and harassed and God knows what else. And very often it wound up in a hanging or a shooting or a bushwhacking of some sort, or you went to a prison camp, which in those days was synonymous with death. So the fate of a young 20 year old, we see what happened to him.